better for you, be better for the people that really love you and for the people that touch your energy every single day. Just carry yourself with clean energy. And the way to do that is to clean yourself out, get to know yourself, do the work. Even if it takes time, even if it's hard, it's going to be the most rewarding thing. And I promise you that, I promise you that. Become somebody that people cannot understand. You will become like an enigma to them because they cannot comprehend how you exist. And I don't mean to say it in like a prideful way as if you are better than them, but I mean to say it as in they wonder how how you're so effortlessly yourself because you, when they watch you, you are so settled into yourself. You're so comfortable. At least you can be comfortable in your skin. At least you can have a sense of groundedness and a sense of inner knowing that, oh, this is who I am and it feels so good. It feels so good to just sit with myself and, and have this time, you know, whether that's in solitude or if you're in a public space, it just, you just feel that in your heart. And those people when we're in a conversation and they cannot stop talking about themselves and there's no room for us to be able to speak what is magnetizing about that what is attractive about that it's not an attractive thing people love to be around people who are curious about them and that's the reality of it that's how it's been for eons um people just enjoy being around people who they feel like want to know more about them and that makes them more magnetic obviously it has to come from a genuine place um but it's just a pro tip because also leading me to my next point which is that magnetic people make other people feel comfortable they make other people feel like they are worthy that they're confident and it sounds like very simple things but it's actually not an easy job because in today's world everybody loves to talk about themselves magnetic people direct focus usually toward other people it's not that they um, don't take up space or that they never speak about their accomplishments and their things too because they're very confident people but it's that they give space for the other person to be entirely themselves without feeling like they need to um, impose their own opinions on every single thing and another thing is magnetic people are very picky with their time they're very picky with the people that they give it to and they're just very observance of the people that are around them if they if people around them do not serve them they understand that that's going to be their downfall and they take those people out of their out of their lives and it's not just people it's habits places situations anything they are so aware of it and they do not engage in any behavior that's going to oppose this because to be great is to be misunderstood to be great is to be misunderstood and that's what magnetic people understand is that if somebody misunderstands you, it just means that you're doing something right. Not everybody has to like you. It's not this, you're not trying to live your life to please somebody else because that's the opposite of magnetism. Magnetic energy comes from you, A, not caring about what anybody thinks of you, B, you're living in your truth, which means all of the values and the morals that you live by. You basically walk your talk and people can see that. Um, you say what you mean and you mean what you say and a number of other things that support this portrait of you this mental image that people have adopted of you being such an honorable person a lot of people have different uh, mixed opinions about this kind of stuff but for me i feel that you know our truest nature as a woman is really to just be just exist and things effortlessly flow to us and i found that to be true in my personal life because i don't have to struggle i have the universe on my side or god or whatever it is that you believe in and i feel and i have faith in that every single day that i wake up i have faith in that and that is what drives me um, to do the things um, that i need to do in order to achieve my dream life well, trying to get somebody else's attention and you're straining and you're striving to get people for maybe like a specific person's attention or maybe a collective group i don't know but straining for it is going to repel what it is that you actually want it's going to repel people away from you you do not chase you attract adopt that mentality early on if you're constantly worried about what other people think about you that is going to make you the opposite of magnetic because magnetic people are authentic and authentic people don't care who's watching them they literally live their life as if they are free because in their minds they are free spirit if magnetism comes from being entirely yourself you don't feel any need to seek out validation how is somebody magnetic? How are they able to achieve this magnetism? Is it something that everybody can do or is it something that only a select few people are born with? And I'm here to tell you that it is not true. Nobody is born with it, I promise you. I definitely think that there's some people who are naturally just a lot more magnetic, um, maybe just because of their upbringing. They had a little bit more confidence instilled in them than the average person. I might sound 
cringy or corny or whatever it is that you want to see it as but that's the reality of it it's that people who are themselves and they are unapologetically themselves we gravitate more to part of being someone who is magnetic and tapping into that authentic nature that you have also comes with easily being able to manifest anything and i found this to be true in my own personal life because it was so much harder to manifest as someone that i wasn't than from the person that i truly was and when i started to step into the world unapologetically as myself even if everybody is fighting against every single one of your beliefs and you stand by that life is so effortless being able to do this inner work is so rewarding in the end and it honestly makes you that much more captive you live in your truth people respect you why because your average person is not living in that be somebody who is curious to find out more about you i was listening to this podcast and this woman was saying um the most interesting topic you will ever study is you you don't know everything about yourself and you are constantly learning and if you actively put in the work to learn more you will become like and it's worth getting to know yourself this year just get to know yourself and i promise you it might quite literally save your life self-concept might save your life self-awareness might save your life um being a magnetizing person might save your life and learning the tactics of that because it might save your life i know it sounds crazy it might sound like a little bit of a reach for some of you but at the end of the day i'm talking from experience your life changes when you start to become hyper aware of these things obviously not in an obsessive manner which oftentimes you will encounter that um those feelings uh, on your journey as well where you want to get something so badly or you want to become something so badly that it ends up going in the opposite direction and that's often what happens so take your time with it spend time in solitude spiritual solitude is such a beautiful thing and it will teach you things that you would just you cannot understand or comprehend otherwise if you had not spent that time alone to have those epiphanies you have the best realizations when you're in your solitude and obviously make time for other people too but need you know you don't necessarily need other people to fill your cup because you were already pouring from a cup that's full so you don't feel depleted by the end you have no real way of replenishing yourself it becomes very difficult to be able to navigate a better life for yourself you cannot be better for anybody else if you yourself are not better to begin with